Oh, hi. I didn't see you come in there. Welcome to my YouTube video. Where I will be making a lot of very natural pauses. Don't worry, I'll cut around these awkward moments. Welcome to my playthrough of Terranigma. Terranigma, I have never played. I'm trying out a little something different. We're going to do a YouTube series of an RPG. See how I take to that. See how we do. Let's get into it. Terranigma. This is on the Super Nintendo. I have no idea if this is on other platforms. Oh, name entry arc. Uh, I guess that's canon. Canon's good enough for me. Let's get some audio in the go, shall we? Chapter 1. The Outset. I like those little beeps. That's the one thing you can always guarantee out of this generation of gaming. Good bleeps and boops. Bleep -a -dip -boop -a -dip -bleep -a -dip -boop. I hear very good things about this game. I'm quite excited. L, are you alright? Ark, you look like you were having a nightmare. I've been having these strange dreams. Day in, day out, always the same dream. Ark, I never expected you would say such things. You should go outside. Crystal blue is in the air and it's very pretty. This should help get your mind off bad dreams. So the hardware that we're actually running at the minute is the original Super Nintendo coupled with a uh, OSSC Upscaler. And we're currently playing at line times five, which gives us 1080p. But um, as a result, produces a little bit of cropping at the top and bottom. But it's nothing to be too concerned about. Um, I've played a lot of games in that format and it's never been a major issue. Uh, I guess we could establish our save right now. Why not? To live is to risk it all. Live, laugh, love, guys. Live, laugh, love. Possibly inside the cupboard service stuff. Got a nice jump. Oh. Is that if I hold that? Am I sprinting? That's good. Okay, already this game has given me vibes of a game that I am familiar with. Uh, that is called... It's a Sega Mega Drive game. And it has a completely different name in the EU than it does in America. I believe it's called Something of Thor in America. Sort of Prince of, Prince of Persia-esque. The jumping and stuff are, are a main feature in that. Yo, Ark. I'll wake you up. Woohoo, the hot couple. Ooh. The Elder told me. Wait, what? I did not mean to do that. What did they say? The Elder told me something before. He said, Crystal Blue are the tears of the outside world. I wonder what he meant. Uh, that it's rain? That sounds like somebody describing rain. Oh, we've gone full, full link. We're wrecking the neighbors' houses. Get wrecked, neighbors. Who are all these people? I heard you ruined everything over at the Weavers. And before that, you swiped all the pumpkins at the garden. You sure never give up. I mean, that's one way to describe never giving up. You got a good arc. I wish Al would come wake me up. <laughs> uh, God, I'm lonely. <laughs> What are you doing? You're some tough guy, Ark. Yeah, yeah. What about you, buddy? What's up, Ark? I'll wake you up again. You should be ashamed. Wow. Okay. But I, I just need to get to this guy on the side. Don't worry about it. You don't need to comment every time. It's okay. Hello. If I told you th this, you'd probably laugh, Ark. But over at that door, you know, the one the Elder said we mustn't open. When you go past it, I get this spooky feeling as if someone is calling my name. Hmm, spooky blue door. Ark, I heard you ruined everything over at the Weavers. Oh yeah, we established this guy he doesn't like me. What a douchebag. What a fucking cunt. Everyone's uh, not had their morning coffee by the sounds of it. Some absolute mean bastards around that breakfast table. Elder, Ark, come here. 
I hear that yesterday you ruined all of the weavings at the Weaver's Hall. Here, that was before my time. I literally just got here. You can't hold me responsible. Why do you always misbehave? Uh, just apologize. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to do it. I was just teasing the chickens when they flew into the Weaver's place. If that is how you feel, go apologize to the Weavers at once. Understood? Uh, okay. You meddler. Who granted you the right to open that chest? Uh, the rules of video games? Every video game ever? Give me the right to do that. What happens if we look at this door? Someone help? Okay, we can't use it. This way. Elders. I want to go outside and see Crystal Blue, but the guys tell me I'll go blind if I see it. Ark, can you go check for me? What, you fucking trying to get me blinded? Yo, what the fuck? Is this your playing the long con? Probably the key is to not tell them that they're gonna become blinded if you're gonna try and trick them into it. Go put that out there. What's up? Hi, Ark. You've come at the perfect time. Can you fetch me that vase or vase? If you like. Uh, I can't take my eyes off this just now. Give me the bees. What do you want the fuzz for? Just put it on here. Hey, how dare you, Ark? You can go hungry today. Well, I had that one coming. Probably a way to, like, set stuff down, right? That isn't uh, absolutely wrecking the place. Well, she's mad at me. I'm not making any friends, that's for sure. Okay, so that is not where we want to go. We want to go down, 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 down. Down to down, down. We gotta go apologize to the weavers by the signs of it. Hmm, Krista. There's booples in the air. Uh, this guy's not getting a bite. No bites for that guy. What's this? Does it tell me? Weavers, perhaps? Mayhaps this is the weavers? Mark, hey, look. You can see things reflected in crystal blue. Oh, that's the crystal blue. I can see people in places I've never seen before. It's really neat. Oh, so like the bubble, they look like bubbles, but I guess they're like some kind of refractions of time and or space. I don't know. I just have a degree in astrophysicists. And so it's required for all video games. A true gamer. Magic shop, nah. I mean, cool, like, but also nah, because I'm pretty sure we should just go to the weavers, right? Apologize. Pretty sure it's gonna be all small fries. I mean, I may not have played this RPG before, but I sure as hell have played every other RPG. And, uh, it'd be small fries, right? Usually, generally, in the beginning. These are cute chickens. Look at those cute ass chickens. Hello. Mom said boys and girls are bound by a promise from an earlier life. Ark, were you and Elle friends from the past? Uh, I don't know about that shit. Sometimes I've seen what looks like a town in this pool. I wonder what it is. It's probably this town reflected in that pool. Consider it. Hey, Ark, come play with us. Forever and ever. No fucking thank you. Yo, just tell me where the weaver's at. Okay, I can sprint. I forgot. This is the weaver's. Nailed it, right? Gotta be. Calling it now. This is the weaver's domicile. What? House? Or please don't teach the kids any more bad games, okay? Just yesterday, they threw and broke all the vazazes here. Mm, they've learned well. Uh, is that a phone? Snuffle, snuffle, sniff. Oh, Ark, I had this really scary dream. I dreamt that everyone turns into ice. Snuffle, sniff. Hmm. Some kind of premonition, maybe? Maybe she's got, like, the sight. She's got the shit in. I'm not allowed to go outside today because Crystal Blue is flying. Oh. I see. Maybe you could... Ark's being mean. Sorry, kid. Don't tell on me, though. What a fucking... Tattletail. Get a load of this kid. Ratted me out so goddamn fast. Didn't even think twice about it. I remember that. Didn't remember you, kid. Get them red. Uh, he's not allowed to go outside because he, his mum knows he can't be trusted. That's really why he's not outside. 
Let's try Kimaido. Maybe the Weavers is like... You think I'd be able to read the signs, right? Weavers? Mayhaps? Mayhaps you'd be Weavers? Fortunes. Ha ha ha. Ark, is it? Let's see your fortune then. Hmm. You have the look of trouble about you. You best take care. <laughs> that was... Useless. Classic psychics there. Of no use to anybody. I wonder what Crystal Blue is. Is it harmful to my crops? <laughs> I mean, if you live here, you should probably know by an eye, right? You should probably, like, I'm gonna grow crops where this random shit appears once a year. I hope everything's just randomly okay. What? Like... Oh, is this just the Weavers? What? Ark, I heard what you did. You should apologize right away. I'm sorry. What is it, Ark? You didn't come to cause trouble again, did you? If you did, I want you out of here. Apologize. Oh, well, I thought maybe I did a bad thing the last time. This is a real surprise. You honestly apologized. If you understand, it's all right. We pour our souls into our weavings. Don't you ever repeat that kind of foolishness again. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye. So now we'll go back to the old man, right? Who's got those juicy looking chests beside him. I want in on that action. Where was that man? Where is that man? Uh, he's like, where is he? In, no. Shit. In this building? I think it's in here. Did I come from here? Yes, I did. It's no good. The door won't budge. Even when three of us pushed it, it won't open. But it's not locked. But hey, Ark, just the guy we're looking for. Oh. The Elder has gone out. So there's this something we wanted to try. This blue door. The one we're not supposed to open. We want to see what's behind it. We've tried everything, but we can't seem to get it open. Ark, you want to give it a shot? Yeah, why not? That sounds cool. I'll give it a go. Way to go, Ark. Maybe you can do it. Let's do it right now. Doesn't it hurt? Of course it hurts. Well, what are you doing then? What's your trick? The trick, Mr. Potter, is not minding that it hurts. It's not minding that it hurts. I also do a, a very good Hans Zimmer impression. <laughs> Let's take this door down. Wait. <clears throat> are you chickening out how some big hero you are? No, watch me. Can't budge it. Not working. You can do it. Bosh! Throw this out it. Oh. Hey, there's a crack at the door. Way to go, Ark. Oh. Crack. Ooh, two. Hey, it's open. Way to go, Ark. Thanks, guys. I always believed in me. Thank you. Help. Someone, help me! Huh? Is that the door? <laughs> the door's alive! I'm going in. Hey, did you hear something? I think I've got a stomachache. He's the only one that heard it, isn't he? Me? Me too. Oh, my head sort of hurts. They all heard it. What does it mean? Uh, I gotta go. You opened it, so you should take care of it. Oh dear, these guys are not great. They're not great. I would complete my mission for the Elder, but he's gone AFK. So I guess we're going into the dungeon. Come help, get me down. No, the seal can only be broken with strength and a calm soul. Now, soothe your soul, calm down. Touch this box. Touch this gum. 
touch the demon inside of me. Uh... Woo, that chair was cramped. I'm free. Oh, it wasn't a book. It was uh, something in a book. What is this? It spoke. It looks like a, a f flying fish. Hmm, you got something against me talking? Okay, that's a weird thing to start off with. Besides, what do you mean by it? I have a proper name, you know, Yomi. Sheesh, something weird came out. That's why the elder kept that box stored away. Nice guess, but you're wrong. The Foggy feared his people will enter the world inside this box. The Foggy. For the innocent folk here, the box's significance won't be clear. Box? What happened to that box anyway? Don't be so thick you're holding it. Whoever breaks the seal on the box gains the right to own it. From now on, you can go to and from inside the box by pressing the select key. So he's like a shit genie. I'll give you a personal tour of this here box, come along. So like a genie with no wishes. So just a shit genie. See? This is inside the box, so you can freely get in and out. Oh nice, very sweet spot. This is the jewel box. Magic rings and summon mounds are placed in here. You can also check your stock of magi rock for making magic. To use magic, go to the item room and equip this jewel box. This is the battle handbook. If you don't know how to do an attack, read this. This is the strength mirror. You can check your strength, defense, luck, and experience points. This is the settings memo. You can change the config settings here. This is the map. Check it in a dungeon to see where you are. This is the journey guidebook. It has many helpful tips, so be sure to read it later. Let's go to the next room. This is the items room. Items are stored here. To use one, equip it and press X. If you want to show someone an item, equip it beforehand. For a description about an item, point to the item and press L. I'll describe it. It's the same for weapons and armor. Behind me is the whole hole. It consumes anything. Where there's a whole hole in the three rooms, item, armor, weapon. To try something, stand in front of a hole and call me. Let's go to the next room. Weapons. This is the weapons room. Weapons you obtain are stored here. Be careful, you have to be equipped with a weapon to fight. Now you can explore this box yourself. Oh yeah, you should go to the weapon room again. You'll find something that awaited freedom with me. I think you'll get to like it, Ark. Oh cool, you give me a weapon. What's this? Ark, the seal has been undone. Can you hear me? I have awaited here for someone who would use me at will. Humans upon gaining intelligence will learn of my existence. Using me, humans will gain power and expand their world. And time will revolve as it ever has. Like others before you, you have opened this box and met me. Have you the courage to use me? Yeah. Then take me in your hands, exactly as your soul desires. Take me in your hands. Oh, it's a weapon. Right. Just, it's a very sensual weapon. That's, I can respect that. You know? It looks like it took a liking to you. It looks like you've got company, Ark. Best get outside. Ark, are you alright? I heard that. Oh, it's L, by the way. I heard that you came in here. Gasp, what is that? Sheesh. That's some great reception I get. He's a real character, this Yomi. I'm a wise guy. I don't know, but it appears harmless. What's up, L? I don't know. Ark, I'm frightened. I, I feel terribly scared. I get this feeling that something is starting. Something that really frightens me. So please don't leave me all alone. What? In what? What do you mean? Like literally? L. L, what's the matter? Hey, you, what, what did you do to L? Oh, scary, but right about now, everyone in the village should be like that. Uh, why are you giving me that look? It's not my fault. I was just trapped inside that box. But I owe you for freeing me, so I'll tell you. A way to get that their girl back to normal. Get out of this cozy village and explore the world you live in. You should be able to discover the future that's been invested in the box. Later. Hey, what do you mean? Think you can get away? L, say something. What's going on? The elder, that foggy, had that box hidden away. The old timer ought to know something. Let's go find the old timer. Oh yeah, we just go back upstairs. Oh, there he is. He's not frozen. Hey, what happened here? Tell me, Gramps. You enormous fool. 
It is you who has brought about this situation. I decreed that the door must never be opened because I feared of this. But we cannot leave the people the way they are. Do you wish to return them to normal? Of course. Darn right. If you know how, tell me. So be it, Ark. Go out of the village. Five towers await you. Outside of the village? What's outside the village? And what do you mean by towers? The gate is open. But have you the ability to succeed? What, what, what is this? So this is the gate Gramps was talking about. Outside, huh? Sounds exciting. I'll go anywhere. World map? World map, mayhaps? World map. Whoa. Mm, that's really trippy. What about this place? Tower 1. Right, cool. I guess we're 5 towers, Tower 1. Let's fucking go, right? So this is what Gramps was calling a tower. I'm getting excited here. This art is super cool. Look at those guys. That's fucking awesome. That music. I desire macaroni and cheese pictures. Whoa! Hey! Hey, you! Don't spook me like that! Face on git. I am the guardian. What business have you here? Uh, what? Um, uh, same friends. The people of the village have been frozen. What do I have to do? Tell me. Then step forth into the tower. Within wanders countless souls of living things. Reach the uppermost floor and gain the power to control the world. Ark, will you test your fate? Nice. Like this. Nice. Three. Oh. So there's no. So there's no turn-based battling in this. I don't know why I thought this was turn-based. It's real-time combat. Get this guy. You little purple bastard. You little purple bastard. Ah, fuck you. Oh shit. Is that ow? What's my life seven? Arcs toasted, right? Obtain the magic rock. Fucking brilliant. It's a suppository. Good news, it's a suppository. This magic rock is going right up your bum. No stamina, I can just infinitely run like this. That's pretty amazing. The D-pad on the snares just feels really good. It's nice to like move around. Like the flow of it is really good. Maybe I just kill everybody in the room, right? Just kill everybody and then win. Look, we, look, you did it. You killed everybody. GG. Where's this fucking gonna respawn? Get that! Yep. Arc level. Oh, wait. I just leveled up. Life up by five. Strength up by one. Defense up by one. I wonder, does it replenish my health? No. It doesn't. I am a wandering soul. Living things have been transformed into monsters. Like you have saved me, save the others. Brilliant. Oh yeah, it was just clear room. Happy days. Those... Oh, it did replenish my life. Awesome. Uh, those flame dudes are, are really tricky with the starting weapon anyway. But this... Whoa. What the fuck? My wit? What the hell? Is there... What? I need health. Can we open this? An S bulb. My health is going up passively. That is amazing. Is that actually happening? What about this guy? What the fuck? Hmm. Okay, this has remained open. Excellent. Progress. So, it's kind of like like I guess in in that way how does that work how, do, how does that work see that what is that what what 
Why? I actually don't know what that is about. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm pressing the wrong button right now. It's not helping. Okay. Magic rock. Really? Hmm, not so. Right? Your strength is being tested. Fighting alone is not strength. Observation is the solution. You mean like as in to observe their movesets? Or... What do you mean? What? They're like... They can only like look certain ways? Ooh, he exploded. I like that. That was very fancy. Just be at an angle, because he can't do diagonal. He can only attack at right angles, right? So, as long as I'm at an off angle, all is well. Look at that. There we go. Ah, no! Oh, awesome. 50 gold, or whatever. 50 currency of some variety. Currency! Progress, though. The threat of comparing this to Dark Souls is lingering like, I can just feel it. Like, lingering like some kind of horrible threat. Kind of like Dark Souls. <laughs> the broken window! Tower 1. Tower 1. Nice. I guess we go up like floors. This feels very Game of Deathy. You know? Bruce Lee Game of Death, move up through the floors. The music's actually really good. I'm just realizing how like it's just been how well it's been sitting. Wait, if I just like stay in the middle, can you not like you can only hit in the right hand? Do you know what he kind of reminds me of? Fucking Smog. Is it Smog is the smaller one? An Ornstein and Smog on DS, I think. Give me, give me Dragon Slayer vibes, this guy. That's what it is. This definitely has that dark fantasy feel so far. I'm really digging that. Definitely enjoy the, uh, like I don't really, I would say, on a personal level, enjoy medieval fantasy generally. Um, but dark fantasy, much prefer. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that looks cool. Who is that? Oh, we're fucking in for it now. All I've got is this shitty weapon. Let's see what happens. Hello. Ark, you have done well to reach here. The monsters you felled, they are people's souls transformed. Upon overcoming this challenge, they will regain their forms. So say, Guardian held aloft a hand. Combo! Combo is happening! If I rapidly tap the button, it's doing like a combo? is pretty cool. I thought we were going to have to fight that guy probably just as well in our current situation. Guardian's voice echoed. Earth is trying to revive the breath of life. Land is on the verge of resurrection. Ark, that door leads to the space for land's control. You may enter. Oh. image orb it, something looks like it might be a map cool
It was that a, a land mass? I think that might have been just like a piece of land. Like a continent, maybe? of the map has been completed. We've got two locations. Some kind of Colosseum and then some kind of Egyptian. On this day, Eurasia... Oh, I missed that. What? Is that a... Uh, that's the drop stuff? The blue Krista? We've done Tower 1 then. GG, I guess. Okay, I guess this go around the back here and get to this next tower. Assuming that's tower two. Tower two. Nice. I'm liking the idea of having that combo. I'm hoping I'm, an, I'm near another level up. Now that I know that, that's very useful. Rounding as well is pretty good. Nice, yes. Arc level 3. Life up 6, defense up 1. Lock up 1. Nice. That little cheer animation is fantastic. They just gotta be annihilated. There's another soul. Pay heed to the statues and the color of the jewel in the forehead. But how do I interact with them? Oh! Huh. So the red one's just the odd one out. Interesting. That one goes up. They both go up. Huh. But what's this? What's this? I pushed it. It's a button. I pushed the button. Cool. Switches that glow gold. What changes do they bring? Uh, right? Okay. Ooh, I don't want to go straight. Isn't that where I came from? Yes, because I've got the other door when I go down here. Oh. Yeah, so we just go up here. Off we go. I'm assuming there's another button. Or something. Yeah. Cool. Main door down there. That's a fun move. Who is this guy? Mark is immobilized. Oh shit. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes were made. Oh no, they're casting spells? What's. Okay. Mostly. Mostly immobility stuff. Oh nice. Yeah, no real damage there. Bob. That was cool. Scary, but cool. This game's pretty fucking great. Tower 2, what's going on? It's a lot of fun. What the hell does this remind me of? It, it, it's a, there's a lot of like, modern indies that are like this, right? That obviously take after this. Um, like, even getting uh, VX Max of like Transistor and Bastion. Mark is immobilized. These guys are not really... You know what? This this is... You know what I'm thinking about those guys? Those guys are only going to be a problem if there's a mob. So if they're like... They're not doing any damage. But if there's somebody there to do damage while I'm immobilized. That's going to be really crap. Two buttons, right? Did I hit the other button? I did. Do we get a spirit orb? Not this time. This one's red. I push it. Oh, there's more buttons. I like that's still in play. 
that as well is kind of annoying. Like, there's a lot of moves that I guess are supposed to work in conjunction with other enemies to do more damage. We just haven't seen them as many mobs yet because we're early in now, I guess. 11 damage. Pretty much followed up with the insta there. So what does this do? That's all f Oh, nice. Where are we going? Somewhere new. Any red ones in here? I see a red one. Just move all the red ones, shall we? It's becoming more uh, complex-ish. Sort of building on the original room a bit. Big level design. I feel uh, it's pretty intuitive, like. You can see me kind of picking up pace as we go through the rooms, because once you kind of figure out the initial thing, then it kind of just builds on that, you see? We've got the multiple red statues in here to push. Get this one out of the way. Pretty cool. This music, though, is really cool. I, I keep not realizing... In a, in a really good way, like, that it's there. It's just part of it, you know, in the best possible way. I'm not seeing any other red ones. I don't, I don't want to dip down, because it'll reset the room. Mm. Unless they're just to be pushed in some specific direction each, right? Like, maybe they can be pushed up, down, left, right, and I've just been pushing them down. Like, what if... Interesting. Okay, I think that's bad. Maybe that's what it is, right? That's bad. If, if they spawn, and if they don't spawn, you did it right. So that doesn't work. Is it to the right? Maybe they just spawn in no matter what, but you can't push it in different directions, so there must be some combination. What's the tell? Yes! Push that one to the right. Push this one to the left. Wow. By gum. By gum, he's done it. Oh, we made it to the top of Tower 2. What's going on in here? Oh, we got some buttons over here. Oh, we have to throw the these things, right? At the button. Uh, it's like that. That's what I think. Yeah. Butt time. Fun. Hello. You have done well to get here. <laughs> so it shall be. Enter. Oh. No muss, no fuss. On you go, pup, he says. Our second ascension has arrived. Tor 2, give me your goods. This is like some Highlander shit. Just like post win. Ah, everything is coming together. Listen to the music. You have won the thing you got to the top of the tower. You were the best. They said it, you couldn't do it. They put you to the test. And you did it. Chill. What does it mean? Ominous. Foreboding. Lightning.
two. Second one. Second territory. With another Egyptian Astoria type artifact. On this day, S America was resurrected. South America. Oh, what's the South America map? Thanks for joining me on my Terra Enigma adventure. That was part one. We got through two towers. It's pretty cool. Um, it wasn't turn based like I thought, but that's not really a problem. It's pretty awesome combat, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into more of it. So hopefully, you'll join me for episode two as I tackle Tower 3 and see what's after that. Catch you next time.